that buying a gift to a jewelry maker or a crafter is actually very easy because we want everything and whatever you get is going to make that person happy and trust me you're about to find out because I put together some really good ideas. I will share different budget options. Let's start with items under $50, which are also beginner friendly. You can't go wrong with a good quality hand file, cut zero or cut two. This will be perfect because everyone needs it. And sometimes when you get started, you may not consider this as a good investment. So I know it looks funny <laughs> to give someone this as a gift, but trust me a good file will make them happy don't forget about the handle next we have quality pliers they are excellent easy to handle easy to use and they don't mark metal and the ones that were requested by most of you are flat nose pliers needle flat nose pliers round ones and half round ones and you can get these as separate or as a set another thing is this soldering clay called hold it and honestly it's really cool because it helps with soldering because you can mold the clay however you like and it helps you put everything in one place place it together and solder it together without building unnecessary constructions and frustration this is really nice and i'm sure every jeweler would be very happy to see this under the christmas tree or as a birthday gift another gift is a quality good sizing mandrel for rings with sizes on it and the great one is for example the true size ring mandrel next one is a steel block and there are different sizes and honestly they are not that cheap so jeweler might not think about getting this for themselves but there are tons out there with different vendors and honestly getting them this really good quality steel block will be a very good investment hammers quality ball pin hammer or stamping hammer honestly you can't go wrong with these ones butane torch by dremel or by pepe tools or any other good brand out there so not something cheapest from hardware store but actually good reputable brand because these last longer and are just better quality this is a personal favorite but honestly nano saw blades from pepe tools give it a go and you can get a pack of 444 and it's such a good price for value honestly so this is one of my best recommendations good quality mask with filters that you can change for example by GVS or 3M or any other reputable brand but mask with filters books complete metal smith anything good book about soldering gemstones basics you really can't go wrong with this one when someone's learning how to make jewelry silversmithing metalsmithing books <laughs> they have all the tools get them organizers because once you have all the tools then you have to organize them and it's actually very easy because you can just go in there without speaking to anybody and just see what do they have <laughs> and honestly organizers for bench are always great option this is the spinning one like this one but there are also wooden ones and there's so many out there for pliers for bits for tweezers for files honestly so many so organizers i personally love them good brass hammer <laughs> for stamping for hammering for all the heavy jobs quality straight shears not these ones <laughs> not these ones with return spring for example by Lindstrom and something similar to that would be great but yeah for cutting they are invaluable in the workshop but not these ones I know <laughs> so frustrating Luxy polishing bars assortment this is brilliant especially when someone's learning how to polish things so this will be perfect I actually use them on a daily so you don't even have to be a beginner to be happy with those and Luxy is great because it's much less toxic would recommend that fancy bench bag or pin 
however you call it, wooden one or there are also other materials they made with, with a lot of cutouts. Some jewelers and crafters like to customize them and make them themselves, but I'm sure everyone will be happy having this as an alternative. I love mine. <laughs> okay, moving on to gifts under $100, so something a little bit more fancy, but still I would say pretty affordable. Nice quality soft frames by New Concepts, Haymaker by Lion Punch Forge and Pepe Tools, or Green Lion Studios. They are pretty, they work perfectly well, they are really good, and every jeweler will be extremely happy with any of those. So honestly, pick your poison and you have perfect gift for your loved one. <laughs> Another item would be cutting jig or miter jig, cutting vise, and it's brilliant because it costs a bit more, so it's not the first item someone might get for themselves, but it actually is perfect for those precision cutting and soldering, therefore. So yeah, I would would say this is a brilliant gift idea. Speaking of sizes and mandrels, Swanstrom ring sizing mandrel would be also a really good idea. Another thing you mentioned were proper texturing hammers. For example, Fred's makes those. Ooh, automatic torch igniter. This is really cool thing, especially when they have a proper torch, like Smith's little torch, for example. This is really cool. <laughs> I think a spinner ring maker by Fred's is another really cool idea because it costs a little bit more so someone might not be thinking about getting this themselves but it speeds up the process of making spinner rings and it's just really cool addition so I would say this this is really great. Pencil drawers for organizing gemstones or any other small supplies. Shot plates for textures and shapes. Honestly, they are really great and I've seen so many people making use out of those. Quality flush cutters, another essential item, but honestly, the quality ones can cost a bit more. They are under 200 but over $50 sometimes. So a little tool, but very useful. The Deco Sunburst assortment set with different attachments for rotary tool and flex shaft. I really like those. I use them all the time. That's why I wanted to include this. And a handy set like this in a pretty box will make a really nice gift. Third category, and these are a little bit more expensive items, usually over $100, extremely useful in the workshop, and every jeweler, every crafter would be very happy to have those. So let's see what they are. Ring bending tool. <laughs> This one's by Pepe Tools and I'm laughing because the amount of people that mentioned they would like this one was astonishing. Myself included, honestly, this was a dream and I love mine. It speeds up the process of making any rings, any shape. You can make spoon rings with this and there are different mandrels so you can get extra ones as well. There are also nano mandrels which are very tiny, as you can see, for some special jobs. So yeah, ring bending tool is absolutely brilliant. Another one from Pepe is this disc cutter. A lot of you guys also recommended this and said you would really love one. And I'm with you on that because it's extremely useful for cutting discs, moons, and another one that speeds up the process tremendously. You see what's over there? Rolling mill. So many of you said that a rolling mill would be that thing that would make you happy and I see why. Rolling mill is a quite expensive tool but an essential one in many cases. You can live without it but it is very good to have especially when you are advancing and when you start creating your own metal sheets and wires and texturing metal. It's just brilliant. What is this little thing. That's an engraving adapter by Lion Punch Forge and Pepe Tools and you pop it on a hammer handpiece like this and you put it on and you have an engraving attachment for the rotary tool and 
This one is for actually for Dom and some of you mentioned that you would really like to have this. So if someone has for Dom rotary tool pendant motor, then this hammer hand piece is a great adapter for engraving. GRS micro block, also called a ball vise, an engraving ball, <laughs> work holding system. <laughs> I think it's everyone's dream. So if you can get that, oh boy. <laughs> pendant motor, boredom or dremel. These are game-changing items. Honestly, it speeds up the process. It makes your workflow so much better. So getting a pendant motor with a flex shaft, excellent choice. And if they have a flex shaft, <laughs> then a quick release attachment handle like this would be amazing. Use this little handle here, take it out, put something in, again, close it, that's it. Quick release for flex shaft. Mm, chef's kiss. <laughs> Jam ring maker from Pepe Tools. <laughs> this is brilliant. You might think, what a tool that only does one thing, cuts a coil into little jump rings. Well, <laughs> believe me when I tell you. <laughs> we use those all the time and cutting them by hand is so tedious and long. It's such a long process and my fingers always hurt so bad. So this is brilliant because in a matter of seconds, zoom, you have so many jump rings in different sizes, thicknesses. So jump ring maker is a brilliant addition to the workshop. Another really cool idea is this bezel ease. It's a tool that helps you make really nice bezels with a different twist, I would say. <laughs> It looks like that it's tiny, but very mighty. And you use it on bezel wire, you cut it, and you can create a very unique looking strong bezel for your gemstones. Many of you also mentioned tumbler polisher or rock tumbler. And I think that's really great because it cleans your jewelry, tumbles rocks, work hardens jewelry pieces. So every workshop would definitely use one of those. And a bonus round, stocking fillers. Those are things that are very inexpensive and would make a great addition to the other gift. Or if you do, if you're doing stocking fillers, you could get those. For example, a center finder like this. It's very inexpensive and it's really cool because it helps you make very good quality jewelry, finding a center, making sure the symmetry is there and you don't have to be frustrated when something's a little bit off. So these are really great. Nice quality solder picks. Fancy attachments for a flex shaft like texturing wheels, bathing wheels, the ones that create satin finish, etc. Something extra. Single stamps with different shapes, flowers, moons, dots, anything, honestly. <laughs> solder paste. I think not everyone has it because they might assume it's actually expensive. It's not and it's very accessible. So getting solder paste which makes soldering so much easier especially with small embellishments would be a perfect idea. <laughs> Different shapes templates from Randy from Gomeo Creations. Check out his website. He makes uh, all of these wonderful shapes and they are really cool. The circles, moons, bales, they will help you get even shape every time. <laughs> Laser texture paper for rolling mill. If they have rolling mill, these texture papers are brilliant because they have different textures and shapes on them and are perfect for making textures <laughs> of metal. <laughs> They're really cool. For stamping, you can get uh, guides like this from Impress Art. This one's Zodiac Constellation guides and I think it's really cool. <laughs> you can also get them gemstones and other supplies like metal, wires, things like that. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with those. If you're still unsure what tools to get, 
Don't forget, there are gift cards. You can find them for larger suppliers or for Etsy, for example. And this person can then go on Etsy and get something for themselves because on Etsy you can also find tools, but most importantly, you can find supplies, gemstones and metal. So Etsy gift card would definitely make someone happy. And last but not least, courses, online classes, online courses, that's also something that might be good for someone. Have a wonderful festive season everyone and if you're interested check out this video to see more tools and ideas for gifts.